Hi, I'm Jeff Garstick from Old Manufacturing and I'm here with Full Compass today to talk to you a little bit about the Verirac series of products from Lowell Manufacturing. The Verirac is a product that is designed for challenging spaces. It can be as low as 4U, as high as 44U. It can be as shallow as 14 deep and as deep as 28 inches through two different models. It has a full line of accessories at specific set heights and depths uh, as accessories including runners, casters, side panels, rear access panel. Then of course you can accomplish some ventilation with this product. What it was originally designed for again was difficult spaces maybe more specifically in tight areas or areas where you need to do custom fitment because plans may not always be as specified. You run into what we call surprises and so this product makes it very flexible to address. It will support a 400 pound load of equipment. And so let's talk a little bit about what the feature set is of this product. First of all, when I say very rack, it is variable in height and depth. The depth can be adjusted and adjusted. The height can be cut down, but unless you're cutting down further, you wanna make sure you do your right cut the first time. So let's address the cut first. Basically what you have is what we call a bi-directional numbering system and the eye normally focuses on Arabic numbers and that's what you will see here. So the important thing about assembling this knockdown assembly is that you have a righty and a lefty. Well with dual direction numbers there is no right or left until you start cutting. As you see on the rail you have your numbering and then there's these little diamond shaped things or pointy uh, print marks, those are what we call cut points. The top of the rack has a 1U spacing in it, there would be no numbering there. In this case, we're dealing with an 8U rack, so when you get up to here, it's 8, and the inverse number is 1. And if you went over on the front side, and it was reversed, it would be 1 up through 8. If I wanna cut this down to 6U, I would make my cut at 7, because I'm going to be hiding 1U to net me with 6U. So as we move away from that and into another benefit of this, the, you will note the rails mount from the inside out, not the outside in. This can save you field labor because there's a uh, feature here called a press stud that in many cases is in the rail itself. This is designed to have the press studs in the top and bottom so that when you put the rail in or you wanna cut it down, you don't have to really go through what we call a dressing out process and you can be a little less concerned as long as you make a straight cut. So now we've done the height. The other benefit of the rail mounting from the inside out is that it allows you to, when you open this rack up, to come to a 19 inch EIA space where you can drop in fans, uh, basic vent panels, or whatever you want to do to close that or make it do what you need it to do. When we go to adjust the very rack from front to back, extend it, there are two approaches. One is if I'm only going to do a minor adjustment, this unit has two seven inch sections, so when it's closed, it's 14 inches and that's how it will ship to you in a box with a top and a bottom and then a rail kit in a separate box with all the mounting hardware. What you'll do is pull out a pinning screw, we call these pinning screws, that's where these holes would reside and you would take out one of those, and then in this slide there is quarter 20 bolts and uh, washer set, nut and washer, you loosen those up, and then you can move this back. This has a variable scale centered on zero in both inches and millimeters. So if I wanted to turn 14 into 15 and a half, all I would simply do is go back one and a half inches, and I would cinch down my variable nut, I would not be able to use the pinning screw. This makes it for an easier assembly if you leave the front fixed. Plus, typically your weight bias is going to be toward the front of the rack, and this is an easier field position. Should you load your equipment and then decide you want to make a variation, you would want to use a ratcheting box end wrench readily available at some retailers and hardware suppliers, and uh, it makes it a fairly simple job to do what we call tweaking it. Well, Let's say that I want to have my use of my 19-inch EIA at fixed points. What we call the fixing screws, 
they're located here in the whole set, you'll see here that we have this open to 2U. This is 1U, 2U, 3U, 4U. When I'm at 4U in this particular model, I'm at 21 inches deep, which will support the aforementioned side panels and some other aspects. But at 2U, I can drop in a fan panel or a vent panel. Now interestingly, in millimeters and or inches, as I go out to 2U in the graph on here, it will tell you your overall depth of the rack. So you're always in control of understanding where you're at with this. It takes a lot of the guesswork out when you do a pre-measurement. So again, 4U to 44U, 14 inches deep to as much as 28 inches deep, accessories that go with, and basically that's the very rack. It will take care of you in a lot of situations. One additional feature is that there's an ovoid in the top and bottom, and we supply a piece with it that has conduit knockout, plus there are three conduit knockouts on the rear, on either the top or the bottom, and you have two half inch knockouts so that you could mount dual diversity UHF antennas on there if you wish. Moving around to the front side of the rack, you will see that there are two Decora panels in the front or back for ancillary gear, micro switches, light indicator, some type of device that will fit in a normal Leviton Decora form and we have the cap pieces are in there so it's dressed out and then you remove them and put in the product that you want. If you would like more information on this or to find out more, you need to contact fullcompass.com or call one of Full Compass's specialists and they'll be happy to carry you through the product.